Number 21. An alternate way to state Avogadro's law is all things being equal, the number of molecules in a gas is directly proportional to the volume of the gas. And then we have letter A. What is the meaning of the term directly proportional? And letter B, what are the other things that must be equal? Okay, so we have our boy Avogadro, right? You thought that you were going to get rid of him in the, in the beginning of chem. Avogadro's number, right? But he comes back. <laughs> anyway, we just have to figure out Avogadro's law in terms of gases, right? In this case, he loves to talk about those molecules, right? Avogadro's number is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules equals one mole. And we're just going to compare that to the volume. Now, we could get to Avogadro's law by looking at the combined gas law. That's what I always look at. I think it's easier. So the combined gas law is this one. I just like to know one formula, and from there, I can manipulate it to get to what I need. Now, this is the combined gas law. This has all four variables that you can manipulate in a gas. Avogadro only cares about the number of molecules and the volume. So, P stands for pressure, V stands for volume. So, we're going to have to keep V in here because that's literally what Avogadro's law says, is the molecules and the volume. So I'm going to keep my V's here. T stands for temps. And N stands for the number of moles. Out of these three, pressure, temperature, and the number of moles, which one do you think we're also going to keep? Yeah, it's the number of moles. It's the N. Now this one was a little tricky because it said over here that the number of molecules in a gas Remember, going back to Avogadro's number, those molecules will equal a one, you know, one mole, right? 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules equal one mole. And that's why we would keep the N value. The N is the moles, but we could just convert to get to molecules. So now Avogadro's law has nothing to do with pressure, and it has nothing to do with temperature. If that's the case, these are remaining constant, and they go bye-bye. So basically, we answer letter B first. Letter B says, what are the other things that must be equal? When they say it must be equal, that means that it must be constant. And those are the things that you're going to cancel out. So pressure, didn't state anything about pressure. And temperature. Didn't state anything about temp. We're only talking about those moles and the volume. So if they both go bye-bye, they go bye-bye across the whole formula. Goodbye pressure, goodbye temp. Goodbye temp, goodbye pressure. And now we have a nice formula here of V1 divided by N1 equals V2 divided by N2, and this is Avogadro's law. Okay, so now let's double back and let's go back to A. We just need to determine, you know, what is the meaning behind directly proportional. Well, we could spot out if something is directly proportional by always seeing that one variable is in the numerator and the other variable is in the denominator, just like here. If I have V in the numerator, and then I have n into the denominator. That is always a direct relationship. So that means that if I have to increase the amount of one variable on the top to counteract that, I would also have to increase the number on the bottom. And then the same thing, if I have to drop the volume or, you know, the variable, in this case, the volume on the top, I would have to drop the variable on the bottom. So that's what a direct relationship means. So basically, if my volume is going to increase, that means that my number of moles would also increase, and vice versa. So if my volume has to drop, my number of moles have to drop. They go hand in hand, and that's what a direct relationship is. And that's the answer for A. And we just did B, so we're all done. 
Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope this helped. If you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. Uh, the channel is almost at 15,000 subscribers, and that would be a great accomplishment. It's all because of you guys, and my brother and I, we appreciate you very, very, very much. The channel wouldn't be here without you guys, so I'm, I'm just great that, you know, grateful that we can make a community, an educational community um, that learns from each other, and you guys have been so kind in the comments, so it's been a great a journey so far. Thank you so much, and I really hope you guys are having a great day. I will see you all in later lessons. Bye-bye.